Hey guys, it's Jason. Uh, I want to apologize for the poor audio quality. Uh, this kind of just got sprung up on us. I didn't have a lot of time to edit. So um, I'll try to fix it up and re-upload re one later. Uh, we're going to go on hiatus next month, so uh, I'm, that might give me time to fix some of the bad quality. Enjoy the episode, though. Welcome to Nerds at Lunch. Uh, we had other plans this week, but Nintendo went and uh, announced the Direct. So that's uh, our episode this week. We're going to cover uh, some of the better bigger announcements from it. Uh, Steve and Pat are with me, and uh, we think Mark died. <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened. He was the one who wanted to do it. We're recording earlier than usual on the day after we typically record. Uh, and he uh, he seems to have vanished off the face of the earth. Like, even last night, we were kind of expecting him to be the first one to talk about all the stuff. <laughs> Uh, so if you see Mark, please let us know or call the police. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, before we start with the games, uh, they had a nice little uh, tribute to uh, Awada at the beginning. I thought that was nice. Um, I'm hoping. Eesh, my phone is loud. I'm hoping that. Uh, this isn't the end of Directs. Uh, there's one more next month. But we're not 100% sure if that's it entirely or what. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I thought I thought Reggie was saying that they were going to continue doing them. It seems like they want to, but then they said earlier they don't know how, how they're going to proceed. Or if the format is going to change or anything like that. I don't know yet myself. Um, we we probably we have to get one more for Splatoon because January is their last month for uh, free DLC. They're going to want to talk about it. So, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Also, I'm not going to mention it here because I think I've made my feelings on Yokai okay Watch clear. But uh, that was a very funny ad for you, Kai Graham Hung what was it? Hunger Graham Hunger or something? <laughs> something like that. Something retarded. Uh, that was what they used to fill in the gap since the, the Japanese direct was the same length, so I guess they figured they'd put in some of their own stuff. I don't know. Well, most of the games they're getting take like six months to localize, so there's nothing they can do about that. Oh, okay. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing uh, on the board, Twilight Princess HD. And I think we had an argument about this last night. I'm pretty sure it's the GameCube version. Link's left-handed. Yes. And, uh, I, I don't know, maybe Pat could tell you had the GameCube uh, Twilight Princess, right? I never I never got it. Uh, I was trying to, because that was around the time, obviously, leaked, uh, the, the launch of Wii, of the Wii. So, I never did get it, because I had planned on getting the Wii, but they were sold out, so... <laughs> I, I never did pick it up. Uh, but when I did notice that the Wii version came out, the whole thing was flipped, so... Link was right-handed in the Wii version, so I never did pick up Twilight Princess. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. But, you know, I don't know why that bothers me, but it does. I, I'm like, I can't. No, and no, I, you're, I mean, I, I played it on Wii, and it, it does add to the off-kilter feel of the game a bit. Mm -hmm. but you can tell it's not intentional on their part. No, no, uh, not at all. It's just... Yeah, I understand that most of the people in the world are right-handed, but, you know, give us choice here, right? <laughs> well, that's what they did eventually with Skyward Sword, but this was just uh -huh. like a last-minute thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. It looks okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I I'm going to be frank, I always thought Twilight Princess was an ugly, ugly game. <laughs> so, the, the story was pretty good, though. I guess. I... <laughs> I saw that. They, did you guys see the the side by side comparisons of yeah. the screenshots? I mean, it looks like they did at least do a little bit of detail to it. Oh, they did a lot of work, but 
I mean, there's only so much you can do for Twilight Princess. I felt like the trees didn't look that great, though. They still looked pretty, like, I don't know, flat. Like, the the way that the, the leaves were, it just looked like flat green with texture. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Someone just drew the trees again. They didn't. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what they did <laughs> back then. But, yeah, I wouldn't in a... I wouldn't expect it to look fantastic by any stretch. Like, <laughs> Wind Waker kind of got a cheat because it has such a uh, vibrant uh, design sense. But Twilight Princess, eh, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't have to look fantastic. I'm wondering how much the, the bundle will cost. I'm seeing on, like, Play Asia, the Japanese one, they're, I mean, they always overprice, but they're charging seventy two ninety nine for it. I would think it would be 60 I mean, Wind Waker HD was fifty dollars. If they include the amiibo, they can justify a sixty dollar price point. Yeah, and they said they had the soundtrack in there too. Well, that doesn't cost them anything. A CD costs ah. a nickel. <laughs> My phone's ringing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll never escape phone troubles on this podcast. Oh, oh that brings us to our next point. Um, they announced the Wolf Link amiibo. And all current Zelda Amiibos will work with this game in some way. They haven't said what yet, so that's uh, that's making me curious. Yeah, especially after they made a big deal about, for Majora's Mask, why they didn't add Amiibo functionality to that. That they felt, you know, like it was already a completed game and they didn't know how to add it, but apparently they figured it out for this one. <laughs> well, it's a different team, too. I imagine... Uh, Whoever they got to do the remake for uh, Wind Waker is in house, and Gretzo is a uh, third party co- or a second party company. So that might have been part of it. Though, I mean, they had plans for a Skull Kid amiibo too, so that kind of sucks. That would have been fun. I, I, they showed all the amiibos in the direct, and old Link with his uh, horrible pea stand is still. <laughs> Ugh. They really need to re-release that clear or something. Oh, uh, Wolf Link Amiibo will also work with uh, <clears throat> the new uh, Zelda Wii U. They haven't said how yet. <clears throat> but uh, I would assume it'll take your save clear data and give you something when you start the game. There's been some hints that mask, uh, that mask power-ups will be back in uh, the next one. So I think maybe you'll get like a wolf mask or something. Which would be kind of neat. And then uh, it's coming out March 4th. So not much of a wait for that. There it is. March 4th. Alright. Yes. Then uh, we still don't have a set of Triforce Heroes yet. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But uh, it's getting DC or DLC, uh, a trial arena. Is it? Uh, that's apparently the size of uh, all the main game's uh, levels combined. So that's something. <laughs> and then uh, two new costumes: Linebeck and Fierce Stady. Fierce Stady apparently just makes your uh, sword stronger and gives you four beams that shoot out and across. The lineback lets you see inside treasure chests, which, uh, my god, that's uh, something I want in a regular Zelda game. <laughs> you don't have x ray vision, Jason. <laughs> no, but it would be nice. <laughs> uh, should I do this puzzle? What's in that treasure chest? Oh, a gold rupee. Bye. <laughs> but you might need that money later on. No, not in a Zelda game, ever. <laughs> If they had, like, a working economy to Zelda for the new one, I, I would be very happy, but they're not going to. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, I don't know. This is pro- Obviously, this is setting up for more DLC in the future. It's probably going to be paid, though. Um, eventually, we'll get uh, Triforce Heroes. <laughs> My only problem is I have no way of streaming it, and that's... Uh, my main 
main reason for wanting the game. So, someday, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Next up, uh, last bit of Zelda news. Winkle is coming to Hyrule Warriors 3DS. <laughs> I mean, we. I, I know that, like, I remember when they first announced the 3DS game and someone was pointing out, I think it was, like, behind Agatha, that there was, like, a crossbow sticking out. Yeah. And, like, oh, it's... The, the female link from the concept art, she's going to be in the game, and then they like never said anything about it, so yeah. that kind of died down. But apparently, that maybe was a, either a hint on their part or a mistake, <laughs> but I guess obviously she is in the game. Yeah. I just wish that she had a better name than Linkle. <laughs> I think they want, took it a little too literally, and it should be something like Wrinkle. Rinka yeah. or something? Rinko, maybe. Rinkaroo? Or, I, I think they could have... Uh, Translated as Rinka, which sounds odd enough to fit in Zelda, and still, if you know anything about Japanese, ah, oh, here comes Mark. Here's Mark. Hey. <laughs> we'll add him real fast. <laughs> Hold on. I've got to get the update for Splatoon. Uh, I have not played Splatoon since Mario Maker came out. We're going to get to uh, Mario Maker in a sec. Or not Mario Maker, uh, Splatoon. You there, Mark? Yep, yep, sorry. I was up too late uh, trying to get stuff pre-ordered and stuff. Nah, that's fine. You can cancel that police call, listeners. Uh, we were just wrapping <laughs> up on the Zelda stuff. Do you have uh, anything you want to say? Um, on the Zelda stuff? Yeah. Uh, no, I was a little disappointed how they didn't um, say um, <clears throat> how Reggie said that we were going to talk about the like improvements later, but later evidently wasn't last night, so it must be later, later. <laughs> well, they're probably not finalized yet. I know I'm hyped though. I got my pre-order in, so I'm hopefully after we're done here, I'm gonna get that handled. Are you excited for your uh, Triforce Hero stuff? <laughs> yeah, I I think the uh, the linebacker costume is a little too late for me. I mean. I've got almost all the costumes except for the ones you can get from the Drabland challenges. So, I mean, um, yeah, I looked through the players' guide. There's not that many costumes in the base game. Yeah, I'm down to the friend token ones, and yeah, like the three Drabland related ones. So, I, I guess they're going to make the trial costumes have the materials you need for Limebeck and Fierce, I guess. I was surprised it takes so little. For, um, though I, I suppose you don't really get too many that many materials to begin with. I'm used to Monster Hunter where you need like twelve different things and multiples. Yeah, uh, they they're pretty re, uh, they're pretty reserved about it in uh, Triforce. You need like one or two. That's about it. And you can always go down to the lottery shop and uh, get materials. I mean, I spent maybe five hundred rupees last night for the guy to keep changing it to something I actually needed. <laughs> And thanks to Linebeck, you're going to be able to find the uh, the chest on the first try. <laughs> yeah. I expect uh, a lot of people to boot Linebeck players just because. <laughs> it seems like it's every chest, not just the three at the end of the yeah. end of the dungeon. So that's useful, too. I know that there's a lot of junk chests in that game. Yeah, it's like you have full health, and it's like, don't don't bother picking up that uh, yeah. that chest. And uh, we were just uh, finishing up on uh, Linkle. <laughs> oh. So, uh, any thoughts on her? Um, I'm perfectly okay with her. She looks like she's going to be fun. Um, I'm glad that she didn't end up on the cutting room floor after yeah. all, and she actually is a thing. She looks more like uh, Link's sister from uh, Wind Waker. Her, her design reminds me of Estella from uh, uh, Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. It's pretty striking to me. Yeah. It might just be the hair. Um, it's a okay. shame they didn't go into any more detail on how you get them into the Wii U versions. More oh, so. there's a code. There's just a little... Uh, I imagine it'll be an update the day it releases. And uh, you just input a, di a certain... Uh, Certain number of digits, I guess, into the uh, Wii U version. Oh, okay. I mean, they don't really need to do an input code. The Wii U and the 3DS can communicate, so you should just be able to 
do something like that, but... Eh. But that would be the easy way to do it. Yes, it would. <laughs> you would need that pesky game link cable. <laughs> uh, oh, After that, I have some choice words. Uh. Okay, then next up, uh, Splatoon. They uh, finalized that the last free DLC will be coming out in January. But uh, for the next two months, uh, we're still going to get every something every Friday. And uh, yesterday we got a huge update. Cool. Uh, I think off billings are January. Uh, I think that is our last big bang. You've played it all, now play it again. Well, I think what they're going to do... And this is what's going to be paid DLC. Uh, they're going to do Octoling versus Inkling uh, tournaments. Mm. And uh, the maps for the tournaments are free when you play in the tournament mode. But if you want them for a normal rotation, but if you want them for like private matches, you'll have to buy them. Mm. Also, it looks like the Inkling wep- or the Octoling weapons are more militaristic. And look uh, more like actual guns. So they could have their own uh, separate story mode and uh, multiplayer modes. Finally, my game where you can turn into a squid is more realistic. <laughs> we'll see. Well, the Octolings don't make sense at all. So we'll, we'll have to talk about that on our Evolution podcast. <laughs> Intelligent know. Design podcast. Says you. <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, we know at least there's like ten new weapons coming. They've been shitting it, shitting it out with decos for the last uh, four or five updates. So we're probably closer to Christmas and uh, New Year's. We're probably going to get some new weapons. I hope. New as an actual new weapons. I don't need a friggin' glittered Whatever it's called. Uh, splattling gun. Heavy splattling. They're called Deco, JC. I don't like them. <laughs> alter the stats a little. No one's going to care. Give me more reason to use it than just uh, alternate weapons. Uh, Sub weapons. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I realize I'm just being a jerk. I haven't played Splatoon <laughs> since August, though. So. Hopefully something will draw me back in. I'm going to be sitting at that freaking loading screen for a week as it is. Yep. I'm shocked since most games were getting attached with the whole Amiibo stuff where it's like, okay, here's round two of Amiibos, but nope. <laughs> They'll announce those in January. That's why they, they didn't do it for Star Fox either, and everyone thought that was coming. Animal Crossing is what they're focusing on right now. Speaking of Amiibo... Somebody got a new gold amiibo. <laughs> That's right. Mega Man. Because when you think of alternate colors for Mega Man, gold is the first thing that comes to mind. Actually, no, it isn't. Exactly, Pat. <laughs> I, think, I think the only time he ever has appeared in gold officially was, um, or rather even unofficially, but was in the Archie comic. Yeah. Well, I guess, well, no, because his face is gold, too. They didn't even bother <laughs> Yeah, I think it was it's just a solid gold, just like it's the gold just Mario. Like, yeah, it works for Mario because it's metal Mario. You can just pretend. But <laughs> of all the colors, why didn't they do... Um, there's so many different colors. They could have done base colors, Chrono Man colors. Um, any of the Robot Masters. Metal Man colors would have been cool. Yeah. When they were like lining up saying that they were ready to show off another Amiibo, it's like, oh crap, it's going to be Proto Man or somebody else. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's still cool. And if you didn't, for some reason, you didn't get the regular Mega Man Amiibo, now you can get one that's slightly less detailed and. <laughs> but she's got a new hat. <laughs> <laughs> they could, you know what they could have done is just given him a new head. And I would have bought that mother mother so bad <laughs> if he just was helmetless Mega Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It could have been it could have been Auto uh, Amiibo, <laughs> <laughs> Auto or Eddie. 
I, I'd buy an any amiibo. I don't know that I would buy auto. <laughs> they um, could did Yellow Devil. Oh. <sighs> the amiibo that can't die. It'd be like the first spongy, like, gack <laughs> like, material one. It's I would be the amiibo tag. And it would be like a Stretch Armstrong doll. Oh, man, that would be cool. You gotta take these ideas, Nintendo. We're pumping them out. It would just change all the dialogue in the instances where there is dialogue in the games to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the anyone could be a Pez dispenser. Special uh, colored candies. And sometimes a can of pop will pop out instead. I think I think somewhere uh, when when Capcom was watching the direct, it's like, wait, oh yeah, right, we did say yeah to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, who? Legacy, what? Oh, I guess he was gold. Guys, we've been having the colors wrong the last couple of games. <laughs> oh, Capcom. Um, this is, um, uh, probably convinced me to get the, uh, Legacy Collection on 3DS. Um, I wasn't going to because, uh, I can get them all on Virtual Console during a sale for, like, half the cost of the game. But, eh. What the heck. You guys can take a shot every time I say pre-ordered. Pre-ordered. <laughs> it's nine in the morning, Mark. <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I do have to be at work later on, so it's gonna. What the reason, Pat? Right. Yeah, it's no, it's November at a retailer. I think it's plenty of excuse for a chance to drink. <laughs> they kind of frown upon that. Uh, right? so, oh man, I my boss was talking about how uh, she was training new people the other day for my shift, mm -hmm. and she basically described a Three Stooges sketch. I will, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you guys after. It's something else. Ah, okay, let's move on. Uh, Bravely Second and Dragon and Dragon Warriors 7 and 8 got a uh, U.S. release window. Uh, spring for uh, Bravely Second. And 2016 for the Dragon Warrior games. So, I'm going to guess summer for both Dragon Warriors. They said summer, yeah, for both. Or rather, they said summer for the first one, and they said 16 for 8. Yeah. yeah I, I would guess it would be uh, June and August. 8 is the one I, I want to get. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Europe got a, uh, a collector's edition of Bravely Second at yeah. their direct. Oh, I'm sure we'll get one, but the first one sold really well, so there's no reason mm -hmm. Nintendo wouldn't. They'll probably cut the... Um, They'll cut the figurine of Anyas out, probably, for ours. I hope not. I'll pay extra. Well, they don't seem to be shy about doing uh, special editions and stuff, so... Yeah. I mean, uh, I didn't put it on here, but Fire Emblems is pretty crazy. Pre-ordered. <laughs> I just didn't want to cover it. It's just a mess. Ah, and then, uh... A new Pokemon game was announced. Two of them. <laughs> no one cares about Mystery Dungeon. But uh, Picross has a very large fan base, so I thought this one probably deserved to mention. Pokemon Picross apparently has every Pokemon in it. And as you catch them, more unlock. Uh, it's free to play. But unlike, um, what's it called? Shuffle, right? Yeah, shuffle. Unlike shuffle, the crystals you earn aren't like mandatory for anything. So you can play the uh, <clears throat> puzzles as long as you want. It seems uh, you can buy uh, cheat coins. They're basically what they are to help you solve puzzles. What? Yeah, uh, I don't like Picross. It's not for me. <laughs> Very confusing, and it's like Minesweeper. Which I, is a game I don't have the patience for. But it has a very dedicated fan base, and uh, this might get more people into it. I like um, I like that comic that Zelda Dungeon puts up from time to time, where they show Link at the computer screen with the lens of truth, trying to play Minesweeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I knew it wasn't going to happen, but I still was hoping for that Z announcement. But... I saw the first screenshot of Mystery Dungeon, and I'm like, oh my god, Z! I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but guess, but the good news about Mystery Dungeon is, you can pick 20 Pokemon, and then meet all of the Pokemon. Why can't you just pick from all the uh, Stage 1 Pokemon? Does it really matter that much? They, they don't. <laughs> It's basically all the starters and some randos, like Eevee and Pikachu. I'm sorry you heard Disney World. We clearly said military school. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it felt like. <laughs> no one likes those games. I don't know why anyone keeps making them. It's only fitting that Charizard Y is in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other one, they said every Pokemon is in it, so that means X is in there somewhere. But Finally, my game. Hey, look, it's Charizard X, everybody. Hey! I guarantee you Game Freak wouldn't let them use X in the ad, ad art. <laughs> like, no, no, no. That's uh, We put him on the popular stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pokin has a release date as well. Speaking of uh, Mega Pokemon. Uh, the trailer in the uh, direct showed showed off a little more Shadow Mewtwo. He uh, don't yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like don't feel like unlocking him. Just go ahead. Yeah, and use the card get, we give yeah. you. <laughs> so I think that confirms uh, Pokemon Amiibo cards. Reordered. That's fine with me. <laughs> uh, I hate unlocking shit in video games <laughs> or fighting games, basically, because it's usually annoying. And uh, Pokemon needs amiibo cards because they can't make uh, 700, we're on 719 amiibo if they do, <laughs> which uh, ain't happening. So. Dunce Force is Walmart exclusive. <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> They'd never finish releasing them in our lifetime. They're, unless, each wave, unless each wave had 100 Pokemon in it. <laughs> then they each don't wave. Do that. Each oh, wave. God. It would, it would turn into a freaking uh, Hot Wheels guy thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> that guy would be here every day. <laughs> Whereas they already have a distribution method for Pokemon cards. Uh -huh. So yeah. That's, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this now, on it? So I apologize to our listeners. <laughs> I, I don't have time to edit this weekend. Um... <laughs> So, um, the other thing this implies is we're going to have more, because there's only 15 playable characters currently, if we include Chad on Mewtwo, in the Two version of Pokémon. <laughs> in the version of Pokémon we have now, so... Does that mean our version is going to have more characters in it, but they're locked behind cards until a certain date? They could be shadow versions of Pokemon. That would be such a rip. <laughs> but that's pretty typical, so... It is, but... <sighs> It'd be the perfect excuse for them to bring Shadow... Uh, unless he was an assist, I didn't notice uh, Shadow uh, Lugia back. Yeah, but no one likes those games, so... <laughs> that design, though. It's just Lugia with different colors. <laughs> He's got a new hat. <laughs> 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 I gotta find that. Well, I guess none of us have a GameCube or a Game Boy Advance or a Link Cable. I have all three. <laughs> I used to if have. I can one. find a GRT disc. I have one. Oh, that's right. I gave it to you, didn't I? <laughs> I had my own anyway. Well, why don't you just start pumping out GRTs, Mark? Oh, it seems yeah. like such a pain, because that's Gen 3, so you have to send it all to Gen 4, and then Gen 5, and then Gen 6. I won't say it'll be easy, but... <laughs> it's that, you gotta use that one game to put them into that box, and then shoot them over to the other game on X. Oh, no, no, that was black and white, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. You gotta use it to shoot them over there, and then you gotta use gotta the, uh, the launch thing on the, on, the, on the Nintendo 3DS to put them on the <laughs> other thing. Oh, good lord, that's a lot of work. 
Oh, we can do it in groups. Yeah, I suppose so. That's still a lot of work, though. Well, he only needs and to do it three times, is what I'm saying. Uh, nuts do it. I'll just get Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be weird, wildly, off, wildly off course, but I'm going to bring it home with this. Speaking of old Pokemon games, uh, the uh, original four Gen 1 titles are being released on Virtual Console. Uh, North, The West is only getting three. But no one was going to buy green anyway, so it seems like they could have just skipped it entirely. It almost seems stupid even in Japan because, yeah. I mean, red and red and green are crappier versions of blue since <laughs> they release blue later with updates. Yeah. Blue is the best. Red is okay. And then green is so horrible that they made blue as an apology. <laughs> I mean, they could have just released blue and yellow. I think everyone would have been happy. You only need red for like one or two Pokemon, I think. Oh, well, I guess it's just a matter of trying to have a good reason for the trading. Yeah. Because if everybody has blue, it's not going <laughs> to... <laughs> well, everyone's going to buy yellow. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's true, because you can still yeah. trade between that. <laughs> this does give us an excuse. Maybe they'll release Stadium with some upgraded features as well. Yeah, how else are you going to get Surfing Pikachu? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, yes. I freaking hate it, Surfing. Plus, if they do, if they redo Stadium, you can take your cart to Blockbuster and... Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Those machines apparently go for quite a bit of money. Oh, we could always go down to Mexico way. Eh? There's actually Blockbusters down there. And that's where Falco's exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> the one Blockbuster in Mexico. <laughs> Is it in Tijuana? <laughs> <laughs> we just grind the Falcos up and snort them. <laughs> Is this is this blockbuster? Do you have Falco? Do you not have Falco? You can't ask for Falco in Mexico. You're gonna get a drug dealer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty typical. That's just I am Falco. What do you want? Um, I wanted an amiibo. Oh. You want to really, you want to understand how many times a day this happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if uh, if uh, these sell well, you can expect Gen two and Gen three. I don't think they're going to sell well. I think there's going to be a small group of very dumb people with nostalgia <laughs> who want these. I mean, I've even tried playing the old ones, and it just. And anything past that or be, before the physical special split just kind of bothers me now. I can't just. I, I can't uh, even play uh, Gen Five anymore. It's so bad. There's no run button. Oh. <laughs> Try to go back. To... Here are the following problems with Gen One that people seem to be forgetting about: no running, everything in Gen One, fire, like fire, spin, and wrap. Hype chart isn't right. Um. Tackle, tackle being 100% accuracy and still missing. <laughs> Hyper Beam is an OP move. Psychic's just destroying everything. Yeah, um, if you have a Taurus and a Mewtwo, you will be undefeated for the rest of your life. <laughs> How you can have a Pokemon that is not like a legendary and such, that's not paralyzed or anything, throw the ball, and it's like, oops, you somehow missed the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> missing Pokeballs was the most frustrating thing. The only one who didn't do that was, I think, Moltres. Yeah, Moltres was the only one who didn't have to do a status effect, too. <laughs> Plus, another thing that's terrible with Gen 1, no Mega Evolution. Bye, boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we could do a whole, uh, we probably could do a whole podcast of just why you shouldn't buy these games. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we could do an entire series of Pokemon podcasts. <laughs> At the rate we're going, we've, we'll probably have five by the time we're done with this thing. <laughs> uh, but my advice for these, if you really, really want the nostalgia, you can find these on eBay and a Game Boy for like 40 bucks. And you're going to stop playing after 10 minutes. So why waste it and have it on... Why would you pay 20 for a game that you're never going to touch again on your uh, 3DS? Uh, I don't know. At least you'll be able to see the screen. <laughs> you see the ugly <laughs> box art from 12 years ago. 
If you tap the Mewtwo amiibo, you can get Mewtwo right away at level five. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Which um, one do you choose? None. <laughs> oh, the only good thing is uh, if you want to rip your friends off with trades again, now you can. Because you can name your Pokemon whatever you want. And since they don't look like Pokemon anymore, they look like those horrible generic sprites. Yeah. You can say, uh, yeah, this is an Oddish. Oh, cool. <laughs> and then uh, when they get it... <laughs> Pidgey. No, no, it has to be a tulip. So you would give them another grass type that they don't want. <laughs> I used to do that to people all the time. <laughs> oh, and yes, one-time use TMs again. Oh, yeah, that's... And no way to re uh, regain them with uh, a game shark or anything. So no breeding. Ugh. I I wonder if they got rid of Missingo. No, they can't. That's too <laughs> much work. They would have to remove Mew, basically. I have a feeling the people who uh, speed run that gen are gonna love to try to see if they uh, kept everything in, like Glitch City and stuff too. Maybe. <sighs> If they added, like, a double speed mode, which wouldn't be any fun in Pokemon because the random battles would increase with the speed. <laughs> Maybe I'd give it a shot, but no. Not like this. Pokemon speed triple in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm ready for it! Oh my god, I'm ready for it! I, I really do feel bad for these because they're going to be, like, the worst selling Pokemon titles. But they buy a new hat. <laughs> and you hear the weirdos who say, oh man, I remember Pokemon Blue. I haven't played one since then. I'm like, well, um, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we should move on. Yep. Um, next up, uh, Star Fox Zero got a release date, April 22nd. Uh, they named the new uh, helicopter vehicle. It is the Grav Master. Okay. And uh, smart bombs have been added to the game. So, yay. A master of gravy. <laughs> thought they already had smart bombs. No, they weren't in the uh, demo at E3, so people thought they were removed. Wow. Really? Uh, no. They're smart bombs. <laughs> they're obviously... Well, I understand that. But... Yeah. Just because they're not in a demo doesn't mean they don't have to. <laughs> it's a demo. Are people really that stupid? I mean, I know this is a rhetorical question I'm asking here. Ugh. <laughs> They even had smart bombs in Star Fox Adventures, so... <laughs> yeah, every freaking Star Fox game that came out had a smart bomb in it. Oh, whatever. Even in Smash Brothers. <laughs> Why can't I use my blast? <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be hinting that you'll be able to play as each member of Team Star Fox, too. So that's something. If each one could have its own pluses and minuses, that could be really good for replay. Yeah. Nobody would use Slippy. <laughs> it seems like Slippy controls the Grav Master. Which makes sense. It's not really a fighting vehicle. <laughs> um, they didn't say anything about Amiibo yet. We know they're an Amiibo for this game because they're in uh, Mario Maker. <laughs> yes, yes they are. So I think we can expect uh, Slippy... Peppy, maybe Wolf, since it looks like he isn't uh, coming home anytime soon. Maybe Rob64 or uh, I, uh, the I robot, or no, Direct I. Rob's due for a redesign. They haven't showed him yet, have they? They showed his face oh. in the um, latest one. Hmm. They show him right. They show him during the uh, the gyro wing parts. Oh, okay. Where he, where he says, Have master. Grav Master. Gyro Wing is so much better. Call it the Slippy Mobile. Hey, ladies. <laughs> propellers. Uh, what are propellers? We have hover engines. Yeah, but propellers. <laughs> <laughs> I think the direct eye is, um, unless they named it beforehand, I can't help but feel that that's maybe a little, a nice tribute to Iwata right there. Maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I um, I think it looks fine. I'm not 100% sold on the uh, move the controller to aim thing. Yeah, 
That's the only thing I'm not sure if that's going to be that great. If they if they map it to the other stick, I'll be happy. Or maybe you can uh, hold L to lock your course in, and then uh, aim with that, aim with the main stick. I just, uh, if I have to do both at the same time, that's going to screw with the experience a bit. They uh, they changed one of the lines of dialogue already, too. Yeah. Um, Slippy saying, uh, use, he said gyro controls, he says use your motion controls. <laughs> so, six months, baby, that's been worth it. <laughs> Well, I heard uh, after that dude got fired, maybe they re-recorded a lot of the dialogue he okayed. <laughs> he was the first boss, I think. That might be part probably, of it. And probably miscellaneous other roles, too. Yeah. <laughs> Star Fox d- delayed six months. Yokai is why. <laughs> well, I know they definitely added uh, traditional controls in. There's no way they didn't. I, I was having trouble with Splatoon the first time I was playing. It works in Splatoon because uh, you don't have to worry about like running into something and exploding. <laughs> yeah, but in Star Fox, your R wing can be hurt by almost anything, so it's, an airplane. it's hard to micromanage. I don't know. I, I wish they would release a demo of the current build. I know why they won't, but uh, it, it would alleviate some of my issues. It's um, a decent amount of time till till April twenty second ish for them to decide to. It'd be yeah. I mean, their decision has been made. They won't do it. Probably not. <laughs> it is. Maybe we'll get super popular and they'll invite us to E three. We can play it there. <laughs> It'll be out by then. <laughs> I know, but it'll still. Oh, you're a funny one, Jason. <laughs> I think, I'd, uh, but I'd be the only one at the. Uh, depending if it'd be out by then, the Shimagami Tensei Fire Emblem booth. <laughs> I figured we'd just send you and Steve the stuff like that. I only played 700 hours of Xenoblade X. <laughs> I didn't put Xenoblade on here, but uh, it's up for uh, pre up, uh, pre-download pre-order mm-hmm. on uh, the eShop. So uh, if you were interested in it, in uh, Dick and the Special Edition, this is probably the best way to play the game. Because uh, uh, it's going to be huge, and if a lot of times for a small game like Woolly World are as atrocious <laughs> as they are on disc. You well, so they had like all those ridiculous downloads for like the yeah. help with the load times. The enemy like, even the basic one was like two gigs or something. Uh, they did that because uh, the intention was never to release it as a physical game. And then the, then Nintendo's like, no, we have to. And that's why devourer of consoles. Yes. <laughs> no, I assume the NX won't have uh, as many issues with that. And then uh, our final uh, piece of uh, big news, uh, Smash DLC. Um, this apparently, uh, after this next uh, Direct, we'll know when our last round of DLC is and when it's coming. Probably January. And uh, they confirmed some guy from some game. But uh, nobody cares. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everybody keeps making the joke that the forecast is a chance of clouds. <laughs> but I think it's also also very heavy downpours of salt. <laughs> <laughs> salt and fanboy tears, because Geno fans and yeah. Sora fans, there's the door. Oh, Sora was never happening. <laughs> Disney owns him. I just I, I still find it odd, though, with Cloud, because it's not like Final Fantasy VII was ever on Nintendo. Yet. But it yeah, might yeah. be. <laughs> Very, very soon. <laughs> Square seems to be getting in good with Nintendo lately. There's there's also that picture on Gamnesia where they have the Simpsons old man yells at Cloud and it's a Photoshop <laughs> snake yelling at Cloud. <laughs> uh, oh, Kojima tweeted, looks like it's my chance to get in. And he did his own smash intro. <laughs> I would honestly, I think I would play as Hideo Kojima. <laughs> I, 
I, I, I nailed, though, what they were going to do, though, oh. what the direct was going to be, show off somebody. I didn't think it was going to be somebody like Cloud, but I thought oh. Wolf and then December was going to be ballot time. Now, I know what people are thinking. Me Fighter Gino costume. Here's why that's never going to happen. Gino doesn't have clothes on. Nope, he has a cloak. No, not even a cloak. <laughs> Comes up, he's a doll, so it doesn't matter for Gino, but it won't matter for the Me Fighter. <laughs> so, we're going we're gonna to get a Sephiroth costume. Oh, more than likely. Oh. <laughs> I am surprised. I am shocked at the level of... Uh, Level of tolerance to not get a one wing angel cloud for his final smash. It's just his uh, regular finisher from seven. Yeah. I'm wondering how that, I, I guess maybe as he takes damage, his, like, his limit break bar well, fills up. Limit break how it works in seven. Uh, if you attack or are attacked, your meter builds up. So it'll work a little bit like uh, Little Mac. Yeah. But uh, just with that. limit break, uh, Instead of being confined to one move, uh, whatever your next attack is is powered up. It it makes his recovery insane. Yeah. And he was wrecking everybody in that trailer. They fit in all the su- all the summons too. I love that. Also, screw you, Sony fanboys. We got uh, a high def Final Fantasy VII uh, before you did. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say, um, we got Cloud in our fighting game instead of yours. No one cares about Sony All-Stars. <laughs> that's like, that's not even fair to brag about because it was never going to happen. You are wrong. Those are, they were never important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Midgar stage looks pretty cool, though, with all the summons. It's pretty much like the, the one Pokemon level with them, like, destroying shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> I saw Knights so, of the Round in there. I'm like, is that his final? And I'm like, no. <laughs> is is um, is he up on the website yet or not? No, because he's not officially out. No. So um, I'm just sure. curious how they didn't show the 3DS version of his stage at all real fast. Maybe he, uh, maybe they don't care. <laughs> well, that could really depend on like um, when the guy when, the, when they went in and found the three fighter slots. Yeah, Cloud's one of them now. But then he found a, a, a curious number of stages. So if there's a, a if there is a 3DS version and such of this one, it could depend on like new franchise reps and stuff versus maybe veterans or existing reps or existing series in Smash. So it all depends if maybe there is a wolf after all. Hmm. Or maybe like they a, just have a bunch of old stages they're gonna. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. He was he was definitely somebody I don't think anybody really saw coming. I honestly, of the characters they could have picked, I know it had to be Cloud, but Cecil, Kane, uh, anyone from Six, Bog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm biased to Four. Four is my favorite Final Fantasy, but I I just want Kane in it because one, this whole thing is jumping. How is that not perfect for Smash? And two, his uh, character quirk could be he randomly switches control to a different player. Because <laughs> in the game, he, he betrays you like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, they take him back every time. It's like, oh, Kane, we know you were only mind controlled. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does it again. <laughs> Like to uh, see if somebody's already photoshopped the smells like chocobo thing to uh, like smells like butthurt. I am surprised <laughs> they didn't give him uh, his motorcycle, this is uh, forward B, like Wario. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, every so often he would get a uh, gold chocobo instead. Mm. That'd be fun. <laughs> if he can ride the motorcycle, that'd be fantastic. Nice to say, I think December is the two more, the two ballot people and uh, me costumes like round five and probably some oh, more round, yeah. stages. Um, well, they did say when in December, but I think first week of December we're going to find out everything uh, that's coming. I'll shoot second week. 
when does that bundle release? What bundle? The uh, the Crystal uh, the Explorers. No, no, the uh, Smash uh, Splatoon Wii U bundle. Oh, oh, um, they said it'd be out by Black Friday. It's a Black Friday thing. I sent that's you right, that. I sent you. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Good lord. Then I sent you that sarcastic picture. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's on Black Friday and they want people to start buying them, um, I don't think they want to wait till the first. They would wait for as little time as they had. First week seems likely to me. But uh, I guess we'll find out. So, um, I think Shovel Knight got destroyed with Cloud coming in. I think because I don't think they want any more "quote unquote" sword fighters now. Well, he has a shovel, Mark. There is a marked difference. <laughs> But he has a new hat. <laughs> you know what you're going to have to make the title of this podcast now. I know. <laughs> Cloudy with a shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then uh, anything else for the direct you guys want to talk about? I don't care about Animal Crossing or the Fire Emblem stuff that much. Well, they got Amiibos, Jason. I know, and I'm sure we'll talk about them when it comes to it, but... There's such a mess in how they're releasing them that I, I can't recommend anyone pick these games up. Just buy the ones you want separately. It looks like Digby is only in the game, mm-hmm. only in the first run of games, uh, and then he might not be getting a re- re-release after that for a while. So if for some reason you want a character that's only been in one game, uh, you're going to have to get him fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's pre-ordered. I just have to go pick it up. Yeah. I'm a shameless whore. <laughs> By the way, I know he's supposed to be Isabel's twin brother, That's but correct. if you know anything about dogs, they don't have the same father. <laughs> well, maybe they did. No, they can't, because their fur colors are completely different. Yeah, they're, they're called butts, man. No, they're the same <laughs> breed of dog, but they have different fathers. They can't be twins. It's called a punnet square, damn it. <laughs> yeah. That is it for Animal Crossing genetics for today. <laughs> um, yeah. oh. I'm psyched that Lucas is confirmed for January. Oh, yeah. Three dogs and two alpacas. You know, the end of Smash DLC, not with a bang, but with a Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Japan got some minor stuff. Uh, Mother 3 for Virtual Console. That doesn't mean anything, because Mother 3 isn't translated, so don't get your hopes up, anyone. <laughs> I think we'd all like to play it at this point, but I don't think it's happening. They can save it for this E3. Just slow drip. <clears throat> well, the thing is, it's going to take... They have to change some music, because uh, they run the risk of some copyright problems. I mean... Mm-hmm. If they wanted, they could have released it several times by now. The creator is very staunch on not changing certain aspects of it. So he's DMX, is what you're saying. Sort of. <laughs> Except copyright laws in Japan are different from America, so uh, it's not like they have a choice in the matter. We'll see. Um, if you don't hear anything by E3, just give up on Mother 3. It's never coming. Ben and Keith says, in America. <laughs> In America, we import. <laughs> uh, they wasted time on all those indie games. I don't really care. I'm surprised they didn't... Um, oh. A couple of them looked alright, but... I'm, I'm sure they're fun, and I might look into them later. But save it for a dedicated direct. This is your first direct back in literally uh, half a year. Just... <laughs> Give us all your A material, guys. Yeah, Mario Tennis was next, then. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's not on here for a reason. <laughs> uh, no Waluigi Amiibo. Sorry, folks. By the way, if you want a broken character, Rosalina doesn't have any running animation. She literally floats, meaning she is one of the fastest characters in the game. <laughs> she Cadillacs most of the time, though. <laughs> And they, they finally made it obvious that she has another eye in this game. <laughs> <laughs> She's like Sandy from One Piece. She switched her hair for it. 
Apparently, the galaxy underneath her skirt uh, can be contained by uh, tennis shorts, too. So. Huh. Very convenient. Yes, it wasn't a galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to stop now. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, speaking of things that get... Speaking of uh, things that are that, uh, that somehow not... Uh, how, how about the uh, the funny Bill sketch where he's eating all those donuts? Yeah. That was pretty funny. They broke it in half, so I guess sometime this week we'll, we'll see the conclusion of that. If it involves Reggie flinging a yokai watch at Bill Trinan, I I think they'll have won the internet for the rest of the rest of the year. I think Reggie said one too many bills there. Oh no, I... no, that was a perfect amount of bills because <laughs> he didn't change the tone of his voice or anything. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. Go with Bill, Bill, Bill as the episode. Title. <laughs> oh no, it's Nerds at Lunch. They should, you should just put a picture of Bill Train with all the donuts. Oh, here. I'm gonna try to find out. You're right. That's perfect. <laughs> Bill was definitely rocking it. Where it's like you want to adventure in style. <laughs> He's gonna get fired again. <laughs> <laughs> he got hired back. It's okay. Well, after this, don't have to ask. I love that. Oh, good. Bill, you're fired. <laughs> so overall, what did everyone think of this direct? I liked it. <laughs> I legit liked it. It was um, it was refreshing to see it back. Uh, it was nice that they paid tribute to Water briefly there at the beginning. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, it had all the benchmarks you would expect. It's like, you know, it was predictable we'd get Smash trailer at the end, but, you know, we got it. They gave us things that we kind of knew were coming. Some stuff that was up- upcoming, like the Mario and Animal Crossing, they had to talk about. But it was nice to see. Um, it's like, I thought they were going to I thought they were gonna be wrapping it up around the 25 or so minute mark, where it's like, okay, here's 2015. And then all of a sudden, they come back. It's like, okay, no, wait, here's 2016. <laughs> I legit thought they were done, but no, they going yeah i agree i liked it um i didn't realize how much i missed these not only because we do a news podcast <laughs> and talk about nintendo a lot but just as a fan you get kind of used to this level of communication from one of your favorite uh companies and uh, i understand why it was going so long but i'm glad it's back you hear that microsoft <laughs> to be fair, Microsoft does care about uh, their consumers. They do, yes. They just don't care about their video game consumers. That is correct. And all things considered, they don't really need to do another direct again for the rest of the year. We'll get the Smash Brothers thing separate. Yeah, they've they've already covered like almost first quarter. 2016, so yeah. they can go on hiatus again for maybe two or three months until like February when everything seems to be coming out. Yeah, I think we'll see one or two smaller ones. Uh, I expect Twilight Princess HD and the Star Fox Direct right before their respective releases. Definitely, uh, we'll get a Pokemon one right before Pokemon, but it'll be a, a general Pokemon. We'll get whenever we get like Z or. Gen 7, they're going to make it like a you have to be up at like 5 in the morning kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> It'll be small. It might not even be a direct, right? It might just be a trailer conference like the last time. Your predictions are irrelevant! <laughs> yes, you're right. No one can predict Nintendo. <laughs> so, uh, Steve, did you uh, have any opinions on this? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I liked it. It's just, um, I guess a lot of the information was stuff that we already kind of heard that was coming. Like, I mean, the Twilight Princess, I mean, that was kind of known for a while, and, I mean, some things, like, Cloud was kind of a surprise, but, I mean, yeah, it was definitely good to have back, I just, I wasn't, like, super wowed by anything, but I think it was just because I already knew a lot of it was coming. Yeah, well, welcome back, uh, Nintendo Directs. Let's, uh, let's hope you stay. Your future's still a little iffy, but Apparently, like, 7,000 people were watching this uh, when it started, and more joined in as it went. So, uh, that should give Nintendo the incentive to keep it around. 
Ah, so uh, that's going to end this episode. Uh, you can find us. Uh, oh, I'm going to probably take our Tumblr down. Just uh, no offense to anyone who posts on Tumblr, but the community there is getting a little nasty for my taste. And I'd rather not associate our podcast with it. So um, you can find us on Twitter at Nerds at Lunch. Facebook, facebook.com slash Robot House Podcasts. Uh, you can follow Steve uh, on Otaku Henshin, uh, facebook.com, Otaku Henshin Online, or otakuhenshin.com for the store itself. Uh, Steve sells figures, um, Saitama! creepy, creepy <laughs> JoJo stuff that uh, we are going to talk about. <laughs> Lord, no! <laughs> Don't mention that, F. Like, oh, God. That's an entire next episode. No. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> pillows. And just uh, fun, uh, fun stuff in general, especially if you happen to like uh, Power Rangers or Kamen Rider and like to carry around uh, their transformation thingies. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can follow the link in the show notes if you have any questions or comments for us. Uh, I'll always check those and I'll respond to them either on show or uh, personally if you want to leave an email. Uh, Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next week.